I'm now with Rene Daniel and uh, Rene, nice having you here with me to chat more about the Patat Fierce and exactly what's planned for the Fierce. It is essentially a country village uh, festival. Um, so we want to keep keep that sort of feeling, but I mean, as, as you say, we do also want to keep it alive. For the very much so, and a couple of surprises each year. Yes, very much. Well, while keeping the favourites going, of course. Yeah, because no, I'm sure you pick up very quickly which are the most popular events and items on the calendar. Yeah, um, for instance, the stalls have become um, hugely popular, which is at the back of the school, or facing the um, the rugby field where the runners and the cyclists come in. We are inundated at this point of time. We have already reached the same amount as last year, and on Thursday I'm actually going to set up try and set up a new store so we will actually go beyond last year. What special activities have you got that really well, are close to you? Close to me of course is always food, it's my passion in life and I've wanted to do this from the very beginning three years ago when I joined the Putak Festival Committee but it, I wasn't able to do it so this year I'm branching out. Um, the school hall was always a sort of a bit of an empty, a, a, dead, a, a dead elephant so to speak. And this year we decided to use it, and I'm holding two cooking demonstrations here. Right. The, it is just start, it is the first year, so I'm playing it safe. I'm using two local celebrities. Um, each will have about three quarters to an hour to do the uh, demonstration. And I must emphasize that they will, you will be tasting the food. You won't only look at it you will actually be tasting it. Are you going to give us a hint, even if you don't name them, what kind of food are we talking? No, no, I, I would love to actually mention the two chefs. They are Antony uh, from Antoinette Events. Uh, when Antony was a chef in Scotland, he actually won the Junior Chef of the Year Award, and that's a few right. years ago before he moved to Pedastor. And then we have Sue Fenwick um, from the Agalas Lodge, who is very known for her fine dining. Right, so that's two really top-class chefs. Uh, I think a privilege to have them doing the presentations for you. Yes, they are also doing sorry inspired uh, sweet potato dishes. But that that is really something exciting, and just my feeling when you talk about it is that truly that is a massive growth area for the future. Yes, it's a trial run this year. It's it's a quite a technical thing to organise. We have to put up the whole kitchen in the hall um, to serve everyone a little portion. Um, all of that, it's, it's a lot of planning and it's a lot of for the chefs. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes this year, but I'm quite, quite positive about it. I'm very positive because I know that you know, the fine dining, well, it's the patat fierce first of all, so it's bringing the food side of it back in, which I think is a wonderful link. Yes. But also, a lot of the festivals in a lot of other country towns do involve either food or wine or both or whatever, so bringing that dining, and it's the dining side, let me not even call it food side into it, I'm sure is going to be a great expansion onto the whole thing.